Hey guys, okay, we're working on this 1992 Subaru Sandbar today. Uh, going to be changing the rear or transmission fluid, uh, which includes the rear differential. Um, and we'll also be changing the front differential fluid. Uh, so first thing we're going to want to do at the back here is drain the old fluid. We are under the rear of the vehicle here. This is the transmission. Uh, this is your drain plug and there's your fill plug. Uh, we're going to remove the fill plug first to ensure that it does come out uh, so that we can refill it and then we'll remove the drain plug. We're going to be using the 17 millimeter uh, socket with a long extension. Okay, crack that loose and crack loose the drain. Okay, so while the back's draining, we're just gonna move to the front. We'll do the front diff. So on this one, your fill is located on the side. Same 17 mil. Crack that. And you're gonna need a wrench 17 for this one. You can't get the socket in. Okay, so while that's draining, uh, I'm just gonna talk about the fill plugs and we'll get into the fluid here in a second and quantities. Um, so this is the uh, transmission fill, fill, or sorry, fill and drain, and then fill and drain for the front diff. Uh, we've got a tiny bit of material on the uh, drain for the transmission there. Uh, I think this fluid's been in for probably about 100,000 kilometers, so that's not too bad. And then the front diff, a lot finer material, a little bit less of it. And the front diff fluid did look uh, pretty clean itself. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, you are supposed to replace these washers here, these crush washers. I'll put the uh, part number um, on the screen here when I figure it out, uh, but you can get the actual Subaru part. I am probably going to reuse these because uh, A, I don't have the part um, with me here and B, these aren't in too bad a shape. Uh, when I say too, not too bad a shape, I know they'll seal again, let's put it that way. So you should replace them, but uh, I'm not going to in my case. Uh, so you'll need four of them. When you buy the part number that I'm gonna give you for those though, uh, it comes with two per part number. Um, okay, and then the fluid I'm gonna be using here uh, in my particular case, so I'm in Canada, it's just easier for me to get this uh, Royal Purple Synchro Max, so it's manual transmission fluid. You can put this in the transmission and the front differential. Um, if Basically what you're looking for is a GL4 uh, fluid, so you're looking for that uh, designation on the bottle. This particular uh, Royal Purple does not show the GL4 designation, but all that means is that you need a fluid that's compatible um, with the softer metals that are inside the transmission of this vehicle. So this vehicle has brass parts in the synchros of the transmission. So right here you can see it says for soft metals uh, commonly found in manual transmissions, uh, manual transmission synchronizers. So uh, I know this will work. Um, this stuff's about 25 bucks a bottle. You're gonna require just under three quarts for the transmission and just under one quart for the front diff. Uh, other guys have used another fluid if you're in the States. You can get in Canada, it's an MT90. Uh, it's pretty much the same stuff, high quality, uh, about the same price. It's just a little bit more difficult for me to get, but uh, either of those will work. So uh, manual transmission fluid, GL4 designation. You don't want one that's a GL4, GL5, uh, because the GL5 is just, it's not gonna work out. So it can actually potentially eat the, uh, the soft metal components inside your transmission. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna let that drain for a little while longer because I have the time, uh, and then we'll get back to the refill. Okay, we're gonna reinstall the drain plug. Put a tiny bit of anti-seize on the threads. 
And you can fill this up several different ways. I'm just using this pump bottle. Um, but you can actually access this from the top if you just had a hose from the top of the engine compartment. Uh, or you could use like one of those big syringes. So I'm just pumping some in here and we're basically gonna fill it up until it starts to seep out that hole. Okay, there's one bottle. That's two. Okay, so I got it running out there, so I'd say we're full. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna install the drain plug. I cleaned it off, that's what they look like, by the way. My little bottle pump only pumps to within about an inch of all the bottoms of the bottle, so I had to transfer some over. Oh, we install a fill plug. Okay, and that's all there is to it, guys. Thank you for watching.